Hello there YouTube and welcome to another video from What You Play In. Today I'm going to show you how to do the evolutions on EAFC 24. This is one of the brand new additions to the game this year. It's very good to increase your weaker players and get them to be part of the main team. To find the evolutions option go down to the club, scroll across to evolutions and then you're in. You can see all the different options that are already available. These should be updated pretty often. You will notice most of them are free however some of them you will have to buy. Whether they're with coins or points is entirely up to you and you don't have to do it. It's only if you believe the player upgrade will be worth it. You can also scroll across and see the different requirements, challenges, etc. to see how to actually upgrade the card to its fullest potential. And you can also see what the stats will be when you reach that stage. I would also suggest doing a little bit of research into which players you should upgrade because some of them will be a lot better than others. I personally didn't and just chose the ones I wanted for myself but it will be more beneficial if you actually get some of the better cards. To actually start the evolution, you just scroll down to whichever one you want to start. You can choose which player out of the available ones you have currently in your club, and then just click it, it will start, and then you just put it in your club, or if it's already in there, it will swap. Another additional thing you can do is add chemistry styles to your cards to give it that little bit of an extra boost, so when it's fully upgraded, it will be even better. Once the evolution challenge is completed, you get a notification like with an objective. Once they're completed, you go back to the evolutions menu, go to the player you did, you get a little animation which will show you the boosts you got and then you just keep going till you do all the challenges and then each one you get another animation, you get an extra boost etc until you've all the way finished it. So as you can see I actually did cut Zuma for my first one so I could show you one all the way finished and then with a chemistry style it is even better. You can have multiple evolution cards in your squad at the same time however only one can be active at once which means you can only complete one set of challenges in one go. Some of them expire quicker than others so you need to prioritize which ones you need to complete first. You can also swap between your evolution cards and see the progress. Just go onto the My Evolutions tab and you can swap at any time. This can be crucial to make sure you do complete all challenges in one go. And then the last other thing, when you'll actually play in a match, the evolution player you have active will have like a blue X like that highlighted above them so you know which player you have currently active there we have it guys there's the evolutions guide i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to see other videos as well for today though it is goodbye from me see ya